Good morning. The Orlando Gardener coming at you. And the babies are fussing. They're ready to eat. I'm not um, doing a lot of um, free ranging now because there's so much fruit on the trees. And uh, I don't want them picking at the fruit. But you got yellow gear there. You got the notorious Pecky here. And who are you? Who are you, little lady? That's Nelly. And you got the Golden Girls. Thank you for being my friend. I haven't given her a name. She's not that friendly. To be a a, a red a Rhode Island red, she's not that friendly. She's kind of scary. But Nelly is the friendliest, along with Yellow Gal, and then Pecky. Look at her. She ready to hit you. She ready. Pecky will get you, y'all. Look at her. Pecky. Pecky will peck you. <laughs> Big time. Okay. What's going on? What's going on in the garden? Well, lemon guava is uh, not doing a whole lot. I mean, it's loaded. Loaded from head to toe, but uh, it they stopped getting big and turning yellow. They just took a break all of a sudden. I don't know what that is all about, but they they most certainly did. They took a break. Uh, there's a couple of them that have started back to swell, uh, but uh, they were on a consistent basis uh, doing this. Uh, but all of a sudden, they just put the brakes on. Uh, but the tree is is still loaded and full. And again, a shout out to to Nick over there for letting me get this tree for little or nothing, bringing it back to life. Um, so here we got the Jamaican hog plum, and they are starting to ripe, ripen. Um, this is what I was telling y'all about right here. When they start to get ripe. They turn yellow. They start turning yellow. And you can see them all up there. All on the tree. They had a couple of hundred on there. Here's another one. Over here that's getting right. They're smaller this year. They're smaller. They kind of stayed the same size as the red ones this year. But you can take a matter of fact. Let me get that other one as well. And uh. We'll get that one by right there. Normally they're double this size on a normal basis. Let's see, can we get this? Yeah. Some of them are dropping. The birds are sitting on the uh, trees and, and kind of doing their thing. But that's cool. It's all right for them. I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll try it again. Dog pins are up. Bailey's Marvel. Looking good. Nothing happening on the red ones. They still all green. All green. Sustainable living. Rosy gold is loaded. The grass is growing since I don't have Zeno over here. Lawn mowing it down, and the, also the uh, the chickens aren't out. I, I, I don't want the chickens coming over pecking the mangoes and all that stuff like that. I don't want that to happen. So we got yellow here. This one getting a little bit yellow. This one here getting a little bit yellow. And then we got, oh, I saw you. Then we got the, we got the Super Julie's coming along pretty good. Pretty good. Super Julie's, Juliet, looking nice. 
we have a Duncan starting to ripen. Look at that. The Duncan is starting to ripen. Look at the colors on that. Yeah. Ooh, that one actually split at the top. That thing got to come off. Yeah, it got a little split there. I'm glad I saw that. But it's, I mean, it's getting bright yellow. So we'll pick that. Matter of fact, we'll put that there. And what else do we have? We got, we got guava. Zena, you know that who that is. Stop all that fuss. And we got guava. It's ripening. Look at that. Boom. Came red off. Oh, my. Guava taste testing. The Duncan will be given away. No, thank you. But the guava will stay. <laughs> the Duncan given away, but the guava will stay. All right. All righty. Nothing over here. We've already picked the... Uh, we picked from this tree earlier. Hatcher. Hatcher's still doing good. These some big, big fruit. Look at how big. You can almost see blue in that. Y'all see the, the color that's green? You can almost see like a blue. The blue, like a bluish green. All right. We're talking about sustainable living. And grapes do grow in Florida, different kinds. Right? Muscadine grapes. All right. Not as many as last year. But we do have a few. We do have a few. Nothing on Little Jim this year. And we still waiting on Golden Queen. And this, this, uh, door for Wyan, the shoulders have risen up pretty good on that. It's looking real good. Looking real good, though. I'm gonna show y'all this one lychee that stayed on. And it only stayed on because I took, I took this pot <laughs> and I put it in water. And it's actually turning, turning red. The one lychee. Out of all them, but that's cool, that's fine. And we got this, and oh, look like my lemon tree need a little help over here. I'm gonna have to get a little help. Yeah, it needs a little extra water, a little boost, and some pruning. But we'll take care of that. Yeah, just a little short, a little short video. On what's going on, need the grass need to be cut, but I know y'all need a video. So, uh oh, let's see. Oh, rosy gold came off, so we got a rosy gold, and my wife been wanting a rosy gold, so I could tell that it was ready because I saw the anthracnose. I believe that is right there. So we got a rosy gold, we got a guava and a Duncan, and my wife been wanting one of these. So let me smell it. Y'all smell it. Oh, it smell like turpentine to me. But we'll see. So we'll put it over here with the little fruit that's been harvested right here. So Atlanta Gardener coming at you this morning. Just wanted to share with y'all a little bit out here. Y'all have a good one.